I honestly don't know the difference between land and world. Except when talking about Super Mario games. Let's pick a new planet. Obviously. Um... But it, I don't know, the rides are good. The th theme part of it is great. <laughs> the gift shops have amazing things. Um, their food is insanely expensive. They have McDonald's kiosks everywhere for fries or whatever. And it's probably triple the price that you would normally find. And the gift shop stuff is triple the price of what they're worth because you're paying for the brand and the memory but that's something that you find in every theme park it's not exclusive to Disney so I don't know I've I've never really had an issue with them seemed kinda old school oh in that in that sense I'm not sure I'm sorry I've never been it's okay Honestly, it's okay. I would not worry about it because it's expensive to go there. Oh, give me all of that! You think you're all that in a bag of chips, eh? <laughs> that's something that Fallison's been saying a lot. I wanted to steal it from him. Because that's what I do as a streamer. I steal. You heard it here first. I steal. No, we could probably just do this. We missed our multiplier! Oh my gosh, I hate it. Everything. Everything about it, I hate it. The worst thing ever. What I would say you should experience, obviously if you're a fan, uh, is Wizarding World of Harry Potter in, in Universal Studios. That is a great place. That has the same trappings of Disneyland and World, but it's it's Harry Potter, so it doesn't matter as much. Because it's worth it. Like a full... Well, I don't know if it's a like one-to-one -one scale of every shop in Diagon Alley, but it's a pretty much full-scale Diagon Alley. Then, not full-scale Hogwarts, but you can, like, do stuff with that. And I, I don't know. It's, it's just... It's really cool. Like, it's neat. I'm back and with a hundred percent more things to say. Uh oh. Them say them. Uh, sure. Yeah. Say them. Say them, Jugnal. I need to sleep. That's not a hundred percent more things to say. That's like. Here comes some more. Ugh. You know, I can't really argue that actually because it's de depending on how many words equals a hundred percent. That could be a hundred percent. If you just said, I need, it would be 50% maybe? That's what I'm thinking. This is weird. Dude, by the way, we have a slow motion sniper scope now. Are you excited? Because I am. Oh, crit! Okay, Peacemaker. Actually, let's turn off our invincibility, try and get a level up. Uh oh. No! No! Never! 
Koopa! Yay, will you die? Yo, why does this game have Zelda rupees? Or Zelda's rupees? Uh, it's a side story in the Zelda universe. It's set in the same time frame as Wind Waker, but it's like, it's concurrent with Wind Waker. Basically. Does that answer your question? Because I'm definitely not lying. Okay, for real though. When you pick up, there's a collectible in the game called Gold Bolts. There are 28 of them, as you can see, and I got all of them. I'm not, I'm not bragging. I'm just saying I got them all. I have 100% of the gold bolts, so I got them all. Anyways, every time you, not every time, but there are tiers. So when you unlock like two gold bolts, you unlock a screen filter or something, and then as you collect more and more, more of these things unlock, and that's why I have a T-Rex mask, but also rare minerals is what it's called, rupees. Uh, adorable Tauruses is rings. Metal currency is coins. Spherical spheres look a lot like God of War orbs. I haven't played God of War in a long time, but I that's what they look like. In fact, let's just turn that on real quick. The Polaris Galaxy. He runs a, garage, right? a lot of fun collectibles in this game, which is why I probably really like playing it so much. Proton scrubs, that sort of thing. I play it too much for the stream, probably. It's not getting to Injustice 2 levels, okay? It hasn't reached 138 hours. This is like maybe 20 hours. And I don't think it'll last 138 hours. <laughs> because the thing with Injustice 2 is it never really ends. There's no end point. There's no end point in sight. It's just play everything. I don't know. This game, there is a decided end point. It is finite. You get me? Also, this has nothing to do with what we're talking about. But in Spanish class, um, in our last Spanish class, there was one person that was using, to pronounce yo, they pronounce it jo. Like, jo... Joe or Thanks. me llamo. Joe, like yo, instead of yo, it's Joe. Uh, there was only one person in our last class, but in this Spanish class, there's actually like three or four people that say that, and it's it's so interesting to me. And then we talk about we also we focus a lot on not learning the different words for things in different countries. But we focus on the fact that there are different words. So many different words for things, depending on what country you're in or dialect you're speaking. It's so interesting. I feel like it's so much more vast than the differences between Quebecois and regular French. Not regular, that sounds... A little xenophobic, I suppose. Um, whatever the word I, is that I'm trying to say that's politically correct and doesn't sound like I'm judging one of the dialects. But I have not hidden it well that I'm not a big fan of Quebecois. No offense. Again, if someone in here speaks Quebecois, je suis désolé. Mais Québécois n'est pas mon dialecte français préféré. Compr compris? Comprends? The Pokey Taru! Oh no! It's Pokey Taru! Wow, we destroyed that. Oh, we're gonna destroy another one! Give it a sell. Oh, so dead, dude. So dead. Look at all the death. I love it. So dead. Sorry. Anyways, yeah. So it's like every single time we learn vocabulary, there are so many different ways to say certain words. Like cool has. 
think we learned like five different ways. Good work. Okay, let's get inside. Hey Al, can you open up? It's ridiculous. I don't remember all the words. It's like there's super, there's guay, chévere. Um, and that's like Mexico. No, it's like Spain, Mexico, Panama, <laughs> respectively. I don't remember this dialogue. That's funny. It's pretty good. Oh, it's the kitty cat. I don't want to listen to you. Sorry, I hope I didn't scare everyone away with that chatter about my Spanish learning. If you're new to the stream, though, and you enjoyed that, please don't hesitate to follow, because that happens a lot. <laughs> okay, upgrades. Don't Can't upgrade that. We can't upgrade that. We can upgrade that, but I really don't want to waste upgrades on it, okay? Okay, we can upgrade this once. Plasma Slayer. Yeah, we're good. We're good there. Oh. Now that's a weapon. What I like with this game is when you get a weapon, you can bet that if you upgrade it, it's going to be a different weapon with the same... Like, it's going to play the same, but it's going to have better abilities. Like with the Plasma Blaster. I forget what it... No, Combustor. That's right. With the Combustor, which is now called the... Uh, Magma Buster. Originally it shot one bullet. Then when we upgraded it shot three. Then five. And now I think it does other stuff. I mean it's really cool. And then with the... Let's see. Raptor Launcher. When it locks on to an enemy. I think it originally caps out at three rockets. But now it caps out at like six or something. Uh, Plasma Slayer as you saw... We didn't used to be able to do it in slow motion. It's just a really cool feature that we unlocked. Raptor Launcher, Doom Blades, Groove Bomb, Magma Buster, Peacemaker, Pixelizer, Protoclast. Okay, so we... We can't... Upgrade anything. Except for the Lava Cider, but I'm not doing that. Get out of here. <gasps> Raptor Launcher. Can we get the... Oh, we can get the Raptor Launcher... And the Lava Cider. What a great use of bolts. Considering how much I don't want to use the Lava Cider. I, I'm wondering what the Omega Goatinator does. Is that supposed to look like a goat? I think it's eventually going to look like a goat. That's so cute. Mr. Zircon. Can't be upgraded anymore. Lava Cider. Magma Buster. Peacemaker. What did I buy again? Raptor. There we go. Oh, there might be upgrades? No, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. And... Alright! Lava Cider! We got it. Let's make it look more like a flame. <laughs> that doesn't look like a flame at all. Actually, if you're familiar with Ashens, he's like a British YouTuber that reviews tat or really bad stuff. Like bad quality toys and things. He has a running joke that the there's a warning on everything that's like a little circle with a line through it that has... It's supposed to be a baby and it looks really sad and he calls it the sad onion. Anyways, there's a, you'd have to be there probably. Now, how does this feel? I'm not seeing any difference. I'm not seeing any difference at all. But let's try it out over here. To get real tired of these you know they showed up just as I oh, the timer's up. Ah, uh, okay. We'll, we'll play a little bit. We'll play. Okay, you know what? Here, let's uh. Let's set a new timer for seven minutes, okay? It's a lot of time.
And we will we'll bring out the lava cider again. Where's the lava cider? Oh. Got it. And Schmoot was there? Really? Oh, I, I wonder what the max multiplier is. She hasn't shredded in the comment section. You know that kind of judgment takes real Play Hello Kitty's Island Adventure. <laughs> I don't think I have that one. I did play Hello Kitty Cruisers on stream for Catterday about uh I would say two months ago because that stream just got purged from existence. Okay. Oh, excuse me? Oh, we need him to come over here. Gotcha. Here we are. Okay. Pokey Tar. Excuse me? Oh, we do this thing. That's right. This one. I feel like I had a hard time with this one. But we won't turn off the invincibility. I mean, turn on the invincibility. That's right, this reminded me of Star Wars Battlefront. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think I have to check, I have to kill the things that are green. So Kermit the Frog, beware. Oh, golly wally. Nice. Our hydro harvesters. Oh no! Oh no! Don't take out the hydro harvesters! Oh dear! Oh no! It's so scary! Oh, it's a little rodent in a ship. How scary can he be? Oh, Oh, we got one left. Okay, cool. Yo, what up? Do a barrel roll! I'm doing it! Nice! No! I wasted it! I wasted one! I wasted one on the thing! I wasted it! Oh, nice. Okay. Um. Alright, where is the Hydro Harvester doll? We just gotta get one. Dude, I can't tell you how much this feels like Star Wars Battlefront. And it's not... It's not surface level! I think there's a conspiracy. I think that the people that made Battlefront actually played this. I mean, beat the... I mean, yeah, played this. But, like, yeah, I don't know. I think Criterion Games are actually the people that made this game. And also, this level looks like a very cartoony version of Naboo. I believe. Yeah, Naboo. Mixed with... The clone planet... Uh, Genazago or something? Gen... Uh, Gen... Genzigavo? Yay! We did it! Look at that. We're so good. We're amazing. Pokey Taru. Yet no Pokemon in sight. It's a very obvious joke I don't think I ever made. Skidoo! That was amazing! <laughs> Wait! Are you serious? It... It killed our multiplier when we got hit in the sky. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. I hate it. Find the focus lab? Oh, okay. We'll find the focus lab. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, your little, little head about it. Gonna do it. We're gonna do it.
<laughs> so I know I had a theory that cats, when they sleep, they don't actually sleep. They just they're they just lays about. They don't do anything. But I don't know. I feel like they are actually sleeping. Like 25 hours a day. Alaris says we can win a new hollow guys at the hoverboard race. Let's go sign up. Oh, we can get this thing upgraded or leveled up. That's cool. Speedrun strats. Oh, we almost did a speed death strat. I believe those gears control the bridge. Well, I can upgrade something. I know. I saw that. But who wants to do that, honestly? I don't. Oh, heck no! You! I am so annoyed with you right now. You are all going to feel the wrath of my rhino. That's right. That's right. You can't escape me! Ah, they escaped me. That's fine. That's fine. Ew! Okay, we need to do something. I don't know. That was seven minutes already? I refuse to believe that. Ow! Okay. So apparently that was already seven minutes, because I don't know how to tell time anymore. Hey, that was rude. Oh, this part is so bad. I'm not even going to try. Yes, I am. I'm going to try, because we have the Rhino this time. And it's going to burn these guys to the ground. Actually, you know what? Let's try the Lava Cider. That's right. We wanted to see what this did. Um, yep, that looks about as boring as I expected. Alright, cool. Back to something that doesn't suck. Test complete. Nice! Okay, I want to do some of these trials first. Although, let me refill my ammo real quick. Wait, no, I don't need to refill it. I can just do this. Because, guess what? We can't upgrade the Rhino any further. There's no point in not having infinite ammo at this point. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's good. I like to see that. I love this. I do hope the blog have not procured any of Gadgetron's Oh my gosh, if I died there I would have been so mad. Okay. That was very rude of them. Uh, I, I can't see anything. I don't know what's happening right now. Alright. Oh! There's some guys in here. Okay. Woo! 
rotate this room. Okay. Wait, did we get everything? Hold on. There we go. Okay, lava cider. It is actually pretty cool, dude. Thank you. Thank you for telling me about it. I appreciate it. Okay. There we go! <laughs> oh yeah, we're coming up on the part that... The single part prior to the final boss that I did not like at all. Because I kept dying. We're coming up to that part. This is a lot of bolts. Holy heck of Maroomba. Okay. We're about to we're about to die. I do want to get to this part though. It looks like our attempt to call the authorities has been met with technical difficulty. I need to get this open. Alright. Okay, so that guy doesn't look like he's hurting me. That's good. Volunteer detected in fusion grenade test lab. Initiating <laughs> Should be easy to bleep these guys. <laughs> oh, ratchet. Okay. Here we go. This is the part where I died a billion times. No, we missed our thingy. We're so close. Darn it. Oh, look at that. Volunteer detected in fluffy bunny room. Prepare to play with adorable bunny rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound so bad. Correction. The fluffy bunny room has been relocated <laughs> to sector 12. Initiating death and dismemberment protocol. Of course. <laughs> I love that. Oh man! Dude, I think they actually send more on this difficulty. I don't remember this many before. I could be wrong though, but I, I swear I... They didn't send that many last time. Woo! Oh! That's a reasonable now time frame. Nightmare is over. Let's find that hoverboard course. We have Stop. Okay. I think that's good for today. We got a lot of bolts there though. Look at that. We're going to farm. And farming in this game as you can see does not take much effort. The only thing is there's there's one part in the game I want to get to to farm. And it is imperative that we do not beat all the enemies. The, the way to farm is you beat most of the enemies and then you die and then you restart. You beat most of the enemies, you die. Because if you beat all the enemies, you can never fight them again. It's not like Dark Souls where when you exit, when you save or something, all the enemies respawn. No, it's not like that. So, we haven't gotten to that par part yet. Look at that, 70%, dude. We're not 
I mean, it's seriously so close. <laughs> we could do it. Although, I don't know what these hidden trophies are. I should probably look into those. Uh, reach the maximum bolt, <laughs> maximum bolt multiplier in challenge mode. I wonder what that is. Like, I would think it would be times 10, but maybe it's times 15, times 20? It can't be much more than 10. I am, I'm honestly betting on 15 or 20. I can't believe that's a very rare, not an ultra rare. Like, if people have time to do that, and they don't have time to do this, like, come on, that doesn't make sense. Especially since Death by Disco seems like it would come with the upgrade every weapon achievement. I don't know. Oh. Oh! So, achievements and trophies were a great invention, but whoever thought about the the little pyramid or showing how the percentage of people that got that trophy, percentage of players that got that trophy, whoever thought of that needs to be president of the world, I think. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like we could we could get that um, that elusive platinum. It'll be the first platinum since the only platinum I've ever I've ever done, which was Hannah Montana the movie, the game, back in two thousand nine, if I'm not wrong. 